All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays if you celebrate anything else. And welcome to day 12 of the 12 days of anime. Every year for day 12, I, inst- I don't talk about anime like the other days. Instead, I talk about the anime community and my experiences with it this past year. And this year has been an incredible, crazy one, but mostly in a good way. So, I want to just talk about some of my favorite experiences with it this year. I got to make a lot of really cool videos this year. I did my version of the Anime Awards, and it was interesting seeing how those, how those votes compared to the actual thing. I made a couple really good videos about Twin Tails. Or at least, I thought they were good. I mean, I was certified on the Twin Tails Wiki as a skilled reviewer, or whatever they called me. That was special. I'll take that. I got to do some gaming live streams for Danganronpa, which was fun, and it gave me an excuse to get into Danganronpa, so that was good. I need to play more of that. I'll probably be streaming more at some point. And then, I think one of my favorite videos was my Fake Lead versus Unlimited Blade Works video that I did for April Fool's Day, where I basically uh, took the fight in Unlimited Blade Works between Chiro and Gilgamesh, and then resubtitled it, so they're actually debating about if Fake Lead was good or not. And I found that... I found that hilarious. I don't know if other people found it as funny as I did, but I had fun. I had a lot of fun with that. So hopefully some other people liked it too. I also got to do a lot of different podcasts and collaborations this year, which was great. I did weekly podcasts on Promised Neverland, Sinfo Gear, and Fruits Basket with my good friend C Tactics, who I will hopefully remember to put a link to in the description. I should really write that down, what links I need to put. By the way, this video is not going to have my audio edited because it's like 7 o'clock on Christmas evening, and this needs to go out today, plus I have those other things that we'll get to as well. So yeah, those podcasts were really great. I liked how we were able to pick up a fan base over time, especially for Fruits Basket. I mean, that was crazy. There are times where we had over 30 people watching us. And a lot of the people from the podcast ended up joining C's Discord server, which a link to that will also be in just the description. So it was cool getting to meet them, meet people who are really excited about Fruits Basket and can tell us everything that C and I got wrong, which was a lot. Promised Neverland and Sinfo Gear were a ton of fun, too. And they're just the shows, like, you have so much you want to say about them. Promised Neverland is so filled with mystery and excitement, and one of my favorite anime of the year. And then Sinfo Gear is just completely insane. Like, if you have not seen Sinfo Gear, there are two videos you need to watch, the intros to seasons three and four. You might think they won't make any sense out of context, but trust me, they don't make sense in context either. And then, yeah, Fruits Basket, just so much with that show. This was a really good year of anime, by the way. I also got to do an episode of the Speaking Anime podcast, which is the one I do with my friends Jordan and Jason. We started it like four or five years ago. I actually don't remember if we started in 2014 or 15. And we were going good for a while, but then we kept having problems and couldn't upload. And then we kind of drifted apart. But we try to do one podcast a year, saying we'll do more, but it never happens. But we got one up, so that was good. And I just think it's cool that something that we started so many years ago is continuing now. And that friends I made like five years ago, I'm still friends with, I actually see in person on a regular basis. Like I did for Anime Fest, and I'm going to go to IkiCon tomorrow in Austin, and I will see them there. So that's awesome. Uh, I did two podcasts with my friend Crimson Assassin, who was always fun to talk about anime with. Uh, we did one about, I actually, yeah, the one we didn't really have a topic, we were just talking about stuff. And then we did one on Astro Lost in Space, which is a show we both loved. So that was fun. Hopefully I can do more with him, though. I know life's been pretty busy for him. I also got to be a guest on the uh, So Anime podcast twice. This is a podcast that Neon hosts with um, Dan and a couple other random guests from time to time. I got to be part of, I think it was Podcast 4, and then the Christmas one, which just went out today. So go check that out. The Christmas podcast was a mess of us not sticking to any topic, but it was a lot of fun to be part of. And hopefully you guys enjoyed listening to it. And then I got to be part of a My Hero Academia movie podcast with my friend Jordan. And I wanted to do some sort of collaboration with him for a while. But we could never like find something that worked out well. And then it was like, he was a big fan of My Hero. I'm a big fan of My Hero. We saw the movie together and we said things. And it was cool. 
One of the big things for me this year was the work I did over on Anime Amino, or actually just Amino as a whole. Amino, if you do not know, is a social networking app. It feels like Instagram, but for like nerdy topics, anime being one of the big ones. They ended up rolling out their story feature, which is like short videos, and I was one of the first people to be involved with that. Uh, so I was making stories for them, and that continued out like actually from like April to November, I think. And they had this program where like they're going to pay creators who got lots of followers and all that. So I like money. I like talking about anime. So between the two of them together, it worked out really well. I made a lot of like small videos there, so go check those out if uh, you are interested. I, there's content over there that's not on YouTube because I did not feel I had enough to say to make a full video, but the Amino videos worked out well. Sadly, I probably won't be doing many more of those, though if I have a topic that, that interests me and I think would fit, then I may continue it, but we'll have to see. I also got to just have a lot of fun watching anime with friends. Anime is in some ways like a solitary activity, like you just do it yourself, you watch your TV or computer monitor or whatever, and that's it. But there can be a lot of fun in like watching it with someone else, getting to experience it with them, or getting them to experience while well, you've seen it so you know what's happening, and just that adds another layer of appreciation to it. And they were certainly experiences with some of my friends. Like, take my friend John. John and I were watching a certain magical index together because, like, index and real gun accelerator are great shows, a lot of fun. And John decided to practice his great art of kazoo and make covers during it. And I feel that I got to share that with you. Take it away, John. Hello, everyone. My name is Johnny Sensei. I'm practicing the ancient arts of music for over a millennia. Today I present to you the most heavenly instrument, the kazoo. And now we play the greatest masterpiece of all time, a certain magical index opening one on the kazoo. <laughs> watch a number of shows with sea tactics one of which being one of my all-time favorites twin tails oh you thought i was going to go through an entire 12 days without talking about twin tails you must not know me at all by the way watch twin tails it's a modern classic i made a video saying so the twin tails wiki approves it so yes we watched twin tails together and it made c say things some interesting things at that. So I'm stealing a segment from him where he did a segment on things C Tactic said while watching Sympho Gear. Let me show you things C Tactic said while watching Twin Tales. Enjoy. I may not have twin tails, but I am a carpenter, so I can do stuff. In this case, tornado porn. 90s anime sucks. This is the pinnacle. Oh, she's going Super Saiyan. Soji's gonna stop the third impact. Gonna be the Twin Tales Season 2. Kyoeni, we're gonna make it happen. Soji got thick. I remember when I was a Twin Tail. Do you remember that? Photon absorbers sound like a term for breasts. That was much fun as these things were, which they were a lot of fun. <laughs> the highlight of the year so far was Anime Fest, where I went to it with my friends Jordan and Jason, which I've talked about before. And it was an experience like no other. In part because through some circumstances I do not know how to summarize briefly, Jordan embraced his role as god of the 2D realm. And so to close out this video... I will let him tell that story. And I have complete faith that he is going to do exactly what I am hoping and will not do anything weird at all, I'm sure. Enjoy.
What's up? I'm uh, I'm Jordan the God. Nice to meet you. I'm Jordan the God of the 2D realm. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, didn't didn't realize you were right there. Uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. You know, Happy New Year. Happy birthday, maybe. I don't know. Look, I know I know my friend Horizon Center. He's been talking a little bit about our trip down to A Fest this year. Probably our trip to Ikikon here in a couple days. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the character we made. Me. Jordan, the god of the 2D realm. I am the god of this stuff, okay? I know what I'm talking about. When I say it's a good show, it's a, it's a good show. Okay, you can trust me on that. It's a good show. What are your shows, huh? Huh? We got Taiga Isaka, Queen of Sundra, starring in Toradora. If you haven't seen that yet, you're living under a rock. You're an old man. Or both. Go watch this show now. Okay, this is a good show. Take a Isaac, Queen of Sundarus. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Me. <laughs> Come on. Sakura Sona Panakanajo. Come on. Shinamashiro, man. Come on. Master artist can't do anything else. Makes for some great stuff. This is another really good, good show. Better in the second half. Sure. But. Overall, it's a good show. Go watch it. I'm not asking him. I'm the... I'm kind of the god of this stuff. You gotta go watch it, dude. And while you're clicking away from this video, by the way, make sure you follow us on Twitter. Follow the Rising Sun Reviews on Twitter. How about the boy? Follow me on Twitter. Join the cow. I'm waiting. I got a lot of stuff to do, you know, being a, being a god of the realm and all, but, uh, you know, I guess I'll wait for you to follow me, Cody. You know, Amy, if you followed me faster, I could make more quality shows for us to watch later this season. Are you kidding me? Remember Demon Slayer? Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. Hello. Follow me on Twitter so I can get back to doing my, my job. Just do it. Interact with us. We appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Rising Sun Reviews are Greg. You know, you're a homie. Thanks for putting me in this. I really appreciate it, man. Now I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back to uh, what I was doing real fast. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. Oh. I just got this really big urge to read some more right now. So. Take care.